Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are gonna be talking about this microphone right here, the Shure MV7. So I've been using this microphone on Zoom mostly um, for a few days now. I'm in multiple meetings every day and I have to say, I love it. It's a great microphone, uh, great specifically USB microphone. I noticed a difference right away. Um, people that you know that I work with, they notice a difference right away. Now, if you think about it, most people are actually using their laptop microphones, which is terrible. Uh, maybe an integrated uh, microphone on their webcam or something like that. And then there's the you know traditional headset, which gives its own type of sound. So when you switch to something like this, it's a huge difference and people aren't really used to hearing good microphone quality come out uh, in, a, in a, you know, Zoom everyday type meeting. So yeah, I was given compliments right away. Even during the meeting, people were asking me, hey, you know, what kind of microphone are you using? Um, your audio sounds really, really good. You should be doing a podcast, blah, 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 blah. So it was definitely different for people to hear a nice microphone. So if you're looking for something to step up your Zoom game, this is kind of the perfect microphone for that. So there are a couple things you want to remember though. For example, make sure you uncheck that box in the audio settings that say uh, that let Zoom kind of control the volume of your microphone. That's not made for something like this. We don't want Zoom to mess with our microphone settings at all. So make sure you uncheck that. Okay, so just for the fun of it, let's go ahead and compare microphones. I'm gonna open up a Zoom meeting. I'm going to use this microphone and I'm gonna use this guy right here. It's actually a brand new Plantronics headset, which is the pretty much standard microphone that most of the people at my job use. So let's see how it sounds. By the way, you're listening to me through the XLR cable going into a Mix Pre 3. It is actually really cool that you can simultaneously be able to use this on the computer and here at the same time and do two separate recordings. It's actually pretty cool. So as you can see here, we are in Zoom, that fantastic video quality. It's funny because this is like a brand new MSI computer and the video quality is terrible. But anyways, the Shure MV7 microphone is selected, as you can see, and it's also the playback option as well. So yeah, this is how it sounds going into Zoom. Um, very good, but you have to make sure you open up the app um, that you install with it and make sure you kind of play with the configurations there, find out what works best for you so that it sounds good. Okay, so now let's switch. All right, so this is the Plantronics headset. This is how it sounds. Very kind of typical headset sounding thing. Uh, I think this headset's like 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks tops. Um, it's a solid headset, feels comfortable. Anyways, this is this is the comparison. This is typically what you would hear someone sound like in a Zoom meeting, I think. Or the, you know what? Let's actually see how it sounds using just the laptop audio. Maybe it's better than everything. All right, so this is the laptop audio right now that you're hearing me on. It could sound amazing. It probably sounds terrible. I've never actually used it before. So it'd be an interesting comparison. This laptop is so loud. I mean, it's doing its job, right? Those fans are kicking in, but boy, does it get loud. So sorry if you're hearing this. I'm actually gonna wait a second. So there are a couple of things that I don't really like about this microphone. The biggest thing is probably how the monitor mix works. I'm very much used to how the Yeti is where you plug in your headset and you can adjust the volume slightly, but you, you can have everything really loud. I can hear myself very clearly. I can hear other people or whatever I have going on on my computer. It's all very loud and clear, especially my voice. And I can hear that clearly. Where this one, you have to kind of dial in whether you want to hear more of yourself. And then when you do that, you're subtracting the volume from other people. So it's almost like I wish I had two dials where one dial is just for my audio monitoring myself and the other one is for everybody else. So I can just crank them both up. I don't know if this makes any sense to you, but that way I can crank them both up and I can hear myself loud and clear. I can hear them clear. Right now you have to sacrifice like I'm hearing myself clearly and them lowly or vice versa. So that actually really gets on my nerves. I think it's just because I'm kind of spoiled about how the uh, Yeti interacts and I've never had to, to worry about that. I can hear myself clearly. The other thing I don't really like about this microphone is that it's kind of funny that there's no power button on it. I know I don't like power buttons or switches or anything like that on microphones in general, but this microphone kind of, I feel like it calls for one a little bit. Most USB is, or most USB ports are always on by default on at least they are on my computers anyways so when i turn my computer off the microphone is still on and that just makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable like i don't want it to be on all day like 24 7 on i just feel like that's probably not good for it so that's my only kind of 
personal gripe with it is I wish that I could just flick a button on there or maybe you could put something underneath it where I just tap it and it turns off rather than me actually pulling out the cable all the time. And that's about it. Um, actually, you know what? I had to buy a really small stand because the other stand that I had with it is just kind of too tall and I just, that's kind of annoying. I didn't really want to, I don't really want to get one of these guys for my desk at home. So I wanted to get something small that I can just kind of put push around. So I ordered this one off Amazon for like nine bucks and it seems to be doing the trick, but I don't know. We'll see. And that's about it for this video, guys. Hope you uh, liked it. Please make sure you hit that button, like, and subscribe, please. Uh, I'll give you a second to do it. There you go. Um, but yeah, so I think in the next video, it's probably gonna be my last video on this microphone, is I'd like to do a comparison between the uh, Blue Yeti microphone, the silver one, uh, versus this one, just because I feel like it rivals it really, really well, and it's less than half the price. So can you guys notice a difference? Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.